Hello, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we are on uh, a focus chapter in between uh, sets of daily lessons, and this focus chapter is What is Sin? So this is the lesson that will uh, sort of be the umbrella for the next 10 daily lessons, starting with 251. So here's today's focus lesson. And I'll just preface this by saying that um, you really have to hear the whole thing until you have, until you have the whole thing in context. Um, because there is no such thing as sin. I'll just preface it with that. What is sin? Sin is insanity. It is the means by which the mind is driven mad and seeks to let illusions take the place of truth. And being mad, it sees illusions where the truth should be and where it really is. Sin gave the body eyes, for what is there the sinless world would behold? What need have any they of sights or sounds or touch? What would they hear or reach to grasp? What would they sense at all? To sense is not to know, and truth can be but filled with knowledge and nothing else. The body is the instrument the mind made in its efforts to deceive itself. Its purpose is to strive. Yet can the goal of striving change? And now the body serves a different aim for striving. What it seeks for now is chosen by the aim the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. Truth can be its aim as well as lies. The senses then will seek instead for witnesses to what is true. Sin is the home of all illusions, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. They are the proof that what has no reality is real. Sin proves God's son is evil. Timelessness must have an end eternal life must die, and God himself has lost the son he loves, with but corruption to complete himself, his will forever overcome by death, love, slain by hate, and peace to be no more. A madman's dreams are frightening, and sin appears indeed to terrify. And yet, what sin perceives is but a childish game. The Son of God may play, he has become a body, prey to evil and to guilt, with but a little life that ends in death. But all the while, his Father shines on him and loves him with an everlasting love, which he pretends cannot change at all, which his pretenses cannot change at all. How long, O Son of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready to come home? Perhaps today? There is no sin. Creation is unchanged. Would you still hold back? Sorry, would you still hold return to heaven back? How long, O holy Son of God, how long? And so here what we see is that there is no such thing as sin. To use my words, we are each the individuated aspects of divinity. And so in and of ourselves, we are divinity. And divinity does not sin. So sinning is a concept made by man to hold against other men. It's not a divine concept at all and God does not partake in the notion of sin or sinners. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson today. If you need me, uh, there, and oh, don't forget, there is also the individual daily lesson to go with this today. So there's two recordings for today. If you need me, you can reach out to me on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, or you can text me at 907-351-3003.
and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Namaste and much love.